Hey everybody, so today I thought I would tell you a story about the time that I was robbed. Um, it's going to be a quick story because it happened so fast, but um, I definitely wanted to tell you all the lasting effects that it's had on me. Um, so basically what happened was, is one night um, whenever I was living in my apartment, I went outside um, just briefly and when I went outside, um, I was playing with my phone like most people do, just, you know, not even paying attention to my surroundings. But I could he heard some commotion going on just off to the side of me. And I thought, you know, it was like, uh, I didn't know what it was. I just thought it was some people talking loud or arguing. So I really didn't pay it much mind. So anyway, as I'm standing out there just playing on my phone doing nothing, um, this guy comes up to me and he's got his bandana over his face. Um, I seem to remember him wearing like a white wife beater and like, I guess, blue jean shorts or khaki shorts of some sort. Like I said, it happened in such a flash that like really my mind just focused on one thing and that was the gun that he was pointing at me. And he came up and he's like, give me your phone. So of course I just handed him my phone, like, you know. But in that moment, like, I was so scared, like, all I could focus on was the barrel of that gun. And shortly after that happened, I ran inside and looked at my mom and said, call 911. Somebody just robbed me of my phone and they pointed a gun at me. And she called 911 and come to find out that the commotion that I had heard was actually them robbing someone else. And, you know, apparently he had just, th these this group of kids, and they were kids, they, they were not adults, they were, you know, in the, between the ages of 14 and 17, um, decided to just rob a bunch of people throughout Columbus, and our little apartment building was one of the places that they hit, they robbed some guy, and then this couple, and then me, and then later on, after they had robbed us, had went to McDonald's and robbed the night manager at, um, excuse me, Burger King. But, I mean, it did have a lasting effect on me. It, it was very quick in how it happened. I mean, it was like he was there, he pointed the gun, he grabbed my phone, and then he left. Which took no more than probably a minute in time. But the effects that it had on me are just detrimental. Like, I'm very paranoid. I'm... Um, scared really to be outside by myself. Um, and it just shows the importance of why we always need to be aware of our surroundings. If I had not been playing with my phone and off in La La Land, I probably would have known what was going on with this other couple that was just a few apartments down from me and would have been able to do something or call 911 and they get there sooner. So I do kind of carry the guilt of if I had paid more attention, what if, what if I had paid more attention? Could I have changed the outcome? But luckily nobody was hurt. You know, we're all alive and well. But it's just a scary thing. And, you know, while mine was not as significant as the couple's was because, you know, they made them get down on the ground because they intended to steal this guy's car. Um, and luckily for him, his little clicker thing, because they had took his keys and was trying to figure out which car was his to get the alarm to set or to go boop, boop, you know, and luckily his clicker, the battery was dead in it. So they were unable to figure out which car was his, but just to think that, you know, you feel so safe within your little community. And then someone comes in and disrupts that safety. We immediately moved after that. We just no longer felt safe there. I no longer felt safe there. I had a hard time going to sleep for a long time. Um, I always felt like somebody was like going to approach me. I got very nervous when strangers approached me. Um, so it definitely had a lasting effect on me. I know this is a short video and a short story time. But it's something that I've been wanting to share. <coughs> But anyway, like I was saying before my brother came in here and had to ask me about how to bake boiled eggs. That's the second time somebody asked me how to cook something very simplistic. Josh asked me, how do I make scrambled eggs? And now Brandon's asking me, how do I make boiled eggs? But anyway, 
sorry this is not just like a long drawn out story um but it was something very personal that happened to me and and, and affected me deeply and and kind of changed my perspective on the world i'm normally a very trusting person and open to new people but that definitely changed it to where i'm very leery of people and honestly just scared i'm scared to leave the house so that's why a lot of times y'all see me is in this setting and even now we're getting ready to move here and it's just been a hard time finding a place because i'm very picky about where we move to if it has even the slightest crime rate i don't want to move there and it's probably something i need to go see a doctor about and get some therapy for um some people would be like oh well you know they just took your phone and you know but when you have a gun pointed at you like i mean that kid very easily could have decided within that split second to shoot me and i might not be here now and that i carry that thought with me all the time you know we hear about people getting robbed all the time but you never really think about it. Think about it till it happens to you. So thank you for listening to this story. Thank you for hearing about this. And um, if anybody out there has ever been in this situation, I, I you have my deepest sympathies, you know, that you had to go through something like that or something even more traumatic than what I went through. Um, it's, it's, it's a horrible thing. And I wish that, you know, crimes didn't happen, but they do. But thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have a story to tell, please leave it down in the comments. And hope everybody has a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye.